Iron Toast here. Today we're going to show you the Reality Stone quest on Epic Difficulty using Hawkeye. Let's jump right into it. This is the Epic Difficulty, the Ebony Maw quest. I'm going to use my Hawkeye. That's what the Reality Stone is for. Mine is a 5 star. He's not duped, so he doesn't have the Hemorrhage Awakened ability, but I think he'll do the trick. Um, and I have actually not played this yet. I played the other difficulties, but I haven't checked out the epic one. I haven't even done any test runs. So let's see what we get. I mean, I know who it is. It's, uh, you know, Yellow Jacket, Modoc, and Thing. But let's give it a go. What's he do? What's he got here? Make sure I'm recording. Um, Transducer and Pilfer. So he's going to have a percentage chance to eliminate my buffs and regenerate. So I'm probably going to... Uh, I probably won't think too much into that. Probably just going to throw specials anyway. And, uh, of course, if he attacks me, he's going to gain power. And none of those seem too difficult to deal with. I'm heal blocked, of course, too. So he did not pilfer my combo shield. That's nice. And he didn't throw his special one. I just, I was able to get my... There's the special one. Just blocked it easy. And he's down. Okay, that was, um... <clears throat> that was exceptionally easy. Moving on. Next one is Modok. Let's see what buffs he's got. <clears throat> Incoming, I believe he's going to have the heal block too. I think that's what the link is here. Yeah, adaptive and heal block. Backlash pulse. Whenever a buff will be triggered by the attacker, they suffer 25% of the defender's damage. And reduce crit chance. Okay, so if I... If I buff, I might take damage. So it might be better just to not fire any specials on this guy. <clears throat> All right, Modok. Racking up some pretty decent bleeds pretty fast here. Gotta watch out for his blue shield passive buff there. That's when he throws his auto block. Once he's got a bar power, I'm gonna generally keep my distance once he's... <clears throat> I personally find the special one easier to dodge than the special two. So that's why I stopped uh, attacking him on that last combo. Kind of stopped him before he got his two. I'm just gonna... Back up, let him try and throw his special. There it is. Just one hit to get rid of that armor. Uh, passive block there, auto block there. <clears throat> I'm gonna stop him a little early. There he goes. Now I've got my special three. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one because I don't think it'll proc any buffs, even with the reality stone. I guess we'll see. A little special animation there. Well, it did proc a buff, but he didn't. Uh, he didn't. He didn't nullify it, so we're good there. Gonna wait for that special one. It's just sitting there. <laughs> Come on, man. There you go. Just one hit. Get rid of that block. Jeez, what's he doing? Come on. Must have thrown off the AI a little bit here. Dodge a special one. Jeez. <laughs> he was toying around with not doing anything so much that I <laughs> let him get to me. Oh well. Yeah, must have tripped. Must have tripped the AI there. He didn't know what to do. He was just blocking the whole time. He finally came to and threw me off. Maybe that was the tactic. <laughs> become confusing to fight and then he lands his, his attack. Let's see what he's got here. Rage, Buffet, or Buffet, one of the two, and unblockable specials. All right, so this should be okay. Uh, because Hawkeye does bleed, uh, process bleeds with the Reality Stone on, on you know, random hits, should be able to keep those rock charges down. And his specials are easy enough to avoid. I, I see he's already raged out right at the beginning here. Nice. All right, so we're going to have to resort to hitting blocks and intercepting. Of course, with the thing, once you get to... Uh, f you want to make sure you get him to 15 rock charges and then try to bait out a special. Go any more than that and he'll go unstoppable, which is worthless. Here we go. We got to 15. Got the special one right away. Thank goodness. Now, uh, the, reali the reality stone... Notice he's got degenerations going. Uh, because of the reality stone, when he can't bleed, and I would be dealing a bleed damage over time he gets a degeneration instead so that's that's pretty helpful for this fight 
Uh, let's see. Still working on uh, hitting into some blocks, getting some intercepts. We're going to stop. Ooh, got down there. Um, I think I'm just going to get him to... There we go. Oh, this is over. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so, yeah, he raged out really fast on that, that match. So um, make sure you're ready to intercept in that fight. Um, and I will say this. I find it, sometimes I find it easier not to use a bleeding champ on a uh, thing just because you can, like, count on his rock charges going up. But uh, that it didn't, it seemed to work out okay there. No big deal. Ebony Maw, same thing as all the other ones. Should be fairly simple. Uh, the one thing you'll want to make sure is, is trying to hit as many heavies as you can. Especially when that eye buff, it's his focus buff on the right there, turns green. There you go. You throw that heavy and it breaks his focus. <clears throat> and of course, try not to let him hit you. Alright, so best to uh, stop hitting him when he's got that buff. You have, a, you have a high likelihood of missing. So I just assume get a parry and a heavy or just a a well-placed heavy if you can. He doesn't have all of those uh, nullify or, or buffet or any of that local nodes on him, so feel free to fire your special one to drain his power. What do we got coming up here? And one last heavy. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> I kind of mentioned this in my other video, but uh, I feel like Kabam, you know, it was really difficult before, and so they toned it down a bit, but I think they I think they turned the dials too much. It's probably a little too easy now. Um, but you know what, I think I think they'll get their act together. And the next time they introduce this type of gameplay, it'll probably be better fine-tuned. So anyway, guys, uh, if you've stuck around this long and you, and you haven't already, subscribe. That'd be great. Um, more content coming your way. Uh, appreciate you watching and share with your alliances if you think it's helpful. See you later, guys. Bye.